Hi, in this video I'd like to show you a quick win that many of our customers are using to accelerate their processes in SAP that involve repetitive tasks. To do this we're going to use a new tool from DVW Analytics, the RPA tool, which allows you to record steps that you take whilst processing tasks within the SAP GUI and then repeat them using a robot in Alteryx time and time again. So let's build a simple example to show this. The software from DVW gives you an additional toolbar, the RPA toolbar. And in here we can log on to our SAP system. And once the ping is established that we're connected to the system correctly, we can now bring in our robot. This is the RPA tool. And it's in here that I'm gonna record the steps that I take within the SAP GUI so I can repeat them. You can see that when I bring in the tool, that it automatically logs me into my SAP system and I can then choose that GUI session to do my recording. I hit the record button and then I can flick back to my SAP system and start. So I'm going to run transaction code VF03. I'm going to enter a billing document here, run that T code and the idea is that I'll take a screenshot here that I want to capture. Now obviously that screenshot gives me a snapshot of exactly what's been posted and we know from our customers that this repetitive task is being done again and again across many organizations. If I now stop that recording I can import those steps as a script into the tool. Now each step is an action I took so for instance if we look at the first step here's when I ran VF03. Obviously the other steps are the other actions I took. What's nice is that we can add now a variable or a parameter where we put in a value. So I'm going to add a parameter here, build doc, and we'll be able to feed in different values into this parameter. You can see here we also have a test column. We can use these values to run through each step if necessary, step by step to see that our script works. Now the next step in our demo is to add in that screenshot stage. We can do that using one of our methods, which adds the step automatically. And you can see it here, hard copy. Setting this up is really easy. All we need to do is say how we want to crop that screenshot. I'm gonna leave it as it is. And also to add in a location where we want to save our file. I've saved one onto my clipboard here and you can see that I've embedded in there our parameter, build doc. So that every time we save one of these files, it will have a different name. The last thing to do is to say which part of our script we want to repeat using the robot. Now it's all of the script in this case. It's a very simple script. And we can use flow logic. You see lots of options here. And in our case, we want to use the loop option, which will iterate looping through that script. As we loop through the script, we pass the parameters into the D anchor here in the tool. And to do this, we're going to use another ACS tool to read data from the VBRK table. And we're going to pick out the billing document documents that we're interested in and pass those into the tool so we can make our screenshots. This shows how we can really automate this process. So we look at the VBRK table and we just select billing documents. I'm going to create a filter on my payer but of course I can use any combination of fields within the table to get the data I want. I'm just going to copy the header and data here to get the structure of the filter and then delete that filter because we're going to use what's on the clipboard to create a text input file which will be a dynamic input for our filters into the table tool. So we right click onto the canvas to create a text input and you can see here that the structure of our filters is maintained and we can add lines as we wish. I can use the text input then to manually select the filters I want and once it's connected into the table tool those filters will be applied so that the billing documents I want will be extracted from the SAP system. And you can see here how the columns in our input match with what's expected in the table tool. Now the output from the table tool is obviously a list of billing documents but they're named using the technical name of the table. So we need a selection tool just to change that name so it matches our variable in the RPA tool. Finally, we connect that tool to the RPA tool in order to pass the data in and we change the value of the connection to 01. We can have multiple connections coming into the tool, so by doing this it identifies it, as you can see here within the tool. And also that relates to the group and the loop that we've created. Now we're ready to run, so let's click on run, start the process, so we pass our data, our seven records that have been found, and as you can see immediately the tool starts to process those, running through that script and recreating those steps within SAP, including the additional step we added manually of taking a screenshot. And if I switch over now to my directory, you can see those seven records landing, and here they are. 
Now, of course, we can select as many records as we like. We can be very particular about our selections in terms of our dynamic input, but that's an end-to-end RPA tool, really reducing your SAP workload from within Alteryx. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to learn more about this or any other of our connectors, please visit our website on dvwanalytics.com.